Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look. This is literally why I wear to work every day or if I'm just even going for lunch or just want to like look put together but only have like 10, 15 minutes. It's super quick, super easy but really nice as well. Like there's a bit of glow, a bit of bronze, you know, no lashes, no eyeshadow, nothing like that. But if you want to see how I got this quick and easy, um, realistic makeup look that you can wear to work or school or wherever you want and then please keep watching so we are going to start off with foundation on a normal everyday i don't usually wear primer like that's fine if you want to wear primer but usually when i wear this makeup i'm just going to work or like i know i could be working for like nine hours or whatever but sometimes i only work five hours so i just it doesn't bother me that much if my makeup wears off a little bit. It's not like I'm going out or somewhere where I need my makeup to last all day. So I'm just lazy and my makeup takes me 10 minutes. So I usually don't put primer on and like sit there and let it dry in. I just go straight in with foundation. But if you want, you can wear primer if that's what you like to use every day. If you have really oily skin and you need something to like combat those oils. Or if you have really, really dry skin, you need something to moisturize, then that's fine. But I'm actually going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Uh, the Matte and Poreless. And this is in the colour 128. So what I do is take a little bit of this. This is just a really nice everyday foundation. I just take a little pump in my hand. My favourite brush to use this. As I said before, I usually use a beauty blender. But a beauty blender just doesn't work with this foundation for some reason. It just doesn't make it look that good so i have to use this with a brush which suits me fine because it's quicker anyway but i use the morphe m439 it's a little bit dirty i'm sorry but um it's just a nice buffer brush it's nice and dense it really buffs it in so and these are only like i don't know maybe five six seven euro and um, you can get it off beauty bay or the morphe website they have a uk website now uh, but i just love this and then i go in with my keels daily revive and concentrate oil jamie genevieve got me hooked on this i like half of it gone it's so good such a good day oil i recommend oils for everyone i think everyone should use an oil and what i do is you have to be really quick with this now but i just drop it like little teardrops because i'm sad uh, and it runs down so quickly like so i have to go really quick and just buff it in I usually don't put concealer on just because I know since I've been using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery eye cream at night time I just feel like like I used to have really puffy red eyes like anytime I wouldn't wear makeup people would be like oh my god you're so tired you're so sick and I'm like I can't help that I'm naturally ugly sorry <laughs> but yeah I looked really bad because I have really bad allergies and stuff so I just feel like it's gotten rid of my dark circles like obviously it doesn't make my under eye look flawless but as I said this is just something quick and easy so I usually just whatever is left on my brush and just go over but if you want to use concealer because you feel like you have dark circles that's fine I literally just put a little few dots here and blend it in I'm actually going to go in with another layer of coverage with my foundation I don't feel like that covered a lot and I have two spots here and they're really really annoying me. So that's my foundation done. It looks just a little bit kind of dewy from the oil but that's fine. I just powder that down. If you ha do put concealer on just do a little bit and then you can powder that down. Or if you want to do full on glam triangles highlighting you do you boo that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix in NC30. Uh, this is just a really nice, it's actually a powder foundation. So it adds just that little bit more coverage, which I want, you know, because I don't add that much foundation. And I don't add concealer, so it's nice to have a little bit of coverage. I just go in with my Real Techniques uh, powder brush. I just got in a set. I'm sure you can still get it. And I just powder my chin, my forehead, and my pores here. So 
So the reason I mix my oil with my foundation, if you are wondering, is because one, it just makes your foundation look really healthy and natural and dewy, like you just have such youthful, nice skin. And two, because I'm super lazy and I do not want to get up like 10 minutes before just to do my skincare <laughs> and I have to let it dry in. I don't really moisturize in the morning, that's so bad. I just put my oil on, that's my moisturizer. And I can do it while I'm doing my makeup. So I get to save a little time in bed and that's the reason. <laughs> so if you want to do, get up and uh, make yourself ready really quick, that's a good tip for you. Sometimes as a little trick, because I don't wear concealer and I want to just brighten here a little bit, I literally just go in with a brightening powder. So I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm using this shade here, this banana shade here. And it just add like a little bit of brightness under your eye. And I'm using the Morphe E Tree brush. If you wanna look a bit more awake, but don't want to go in with the full on concealer, cause maybe you're like me and you have dry under eyes and sometimes the concealer creases a little bit here throughout the day. Um, I'm not gonna keep running to the bathroom to, you know, like fix this. So this is a good way of just brightening your under eyes without wearing concealer so you still look put together. I'm gonna to use this again just to um, contour. So I'm gonna use this middle shade here. It's a nice neutral color. And I'm gonna go in with my Sigma F05 and just do my cheekbones here. So you can see that's just added a nice little contour. Nothing too defined, nothing too much. That's what I just want on an everyday basis. So, sorry about Bradley, ran, ran up and down the stairs, but anyway, oh, that's how unfit I am. Um, so now we're gonna go in with bronzer. Actually, no, I'm gonna go in with highlight first. I like to do my highlight before my bronzer and blush just because I don't wanna sit on top of the skin. I hate that line, that stripe. So at least when you put the bronzer on and the blush, you kind of mix it all together. And then you can go back on top with a little bit more if you want. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the Sun Dipped. And um, this is really nice. I love this glow kit for like forty dollars. It's so good. So you have four shades here. I always mix these two. Sometimes I use this as a bronzer, and this is like a blush. So so nice. So I'm going to go into summer and moonstone, and I'm going to mix them and put them on my cheekbones and my forehead and my nose. And that's why any fix plus is so gorgeous they're so wet looking i love it if you can get it on beauty bay get it it's so good and we're going to go in with bronzer now going to warm up this skin because i'm it's winter and i'm pasty and i don't like it so i'm going to go in with mac give me sun it's a really nice it's a really nice kind of warm bronzy color if you're really fair i don't think you could really wear this and um, but add so much warmth to the skin i think if you're really fair it'd be more like kind of orangey on your skin um but it's so nice it just warms up your complexion so much it's so good in the summer and i used the morphe m527 big bronzer brush and i just bronze my cheekbones and my forehead See how much warmth that just adds into your skin? It's such a nice bronzer. So nice, I love it. I used to be into blush at all, like, geez, I think, like, I've been using blush the last few weeks, but before that, like, I don't think I used blush really in, like, could be a year and a half, two years, and that's not even an exaggeration, like, I just wasn't in the, the blush phase. Um, but then I started wearing it to work and one of the girls I work with was like, oh my God, your makeup's so nice, it's so blended. And I was like, oh my God, the only thing I'm doing differently is blush. So I was like, it must be the blush. It must just kind of add everything together, like blend all together. So I've just been using a tiny bit lately just to give me a bit of like 
pop to my cheeks, you know, a little bit of a flush. <laughs> so I'm going to use the MAC Style Blush. It's a really nice peachy blush. Kind of has little gold shimmers in it. It's just, I love peachy blush. I don't wear pink blushes. I don't wear mauve blushes. If I wear a blush, it's going to be a peachy blush. With a bit of a glow to it. I love it. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe E4. It's just an angled blush brush. And I'm just going to put like a little bit. And then just go on. I don't go on the apples of my cheeks. Because I have really round cheeks. So I do it more along here. So it just adds a bit of life back into your skin. Like you can't really see the blush, but you can tell there's some sort of like peachy glow there. It's just, it's really nice. Um, and all I do after this is just mascara and brows and lips. And that's it. So I'm going to go in, do mascara. I'm going to use the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I have a little sample of it. It's actually really good. I really like it. It's a really like thick wand. So um, I just go in with about three layers of that and then I'll do my eyebrows. I always think I literally look like an alien with no brows on. Like I could do my full on makeup but until my brows are on, I feel so ugly and like bald. Is that, does, am I the only one that feels like that? Like how did I used to like, used to not do my brows? I used to go out like this. Oh, no. Anyway, we've all had that, that ugly stage, you know, you know. <laughs> so for brows, I'm going to go in. I don't like to go in with like a pomade or a brow pencil on natural days. I like to go in with a powder. So I am going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Powder in Ebony. Um, I love this stuff. It's really natural. It's just good for every day. Quick and easy. So that's what I'm going to go in with. And I'm going to use my Anastasia um, Brow Brush. show you how good this mascara is like look at that and that's only three coats so it's just so good it makes your lashes so long and thick because i don't i have long lashes but i don't have thick lashes at all like my eyelash can look very spidery or whatever but this mascara is so good so I don't add any eyeshadow on an everyday basis. Like, as I said, this is literally like realistic, quick makeup to work, college, school, whatever. Like this literally takes me about 10 minutes, maybe 15 tops. Um, and if I'm really lazy, I skip the foundation and just go straight in with powder foundation and kind of do the same routine. But the only thing I do to my eyes is I add the same highlighter just in the inner corners and on my brow bone. And then I just do lips and I just usually do a nude. I like just that's all I wear is nude. So many colour li lipsticks, like really nice reds and purples and vampy colours and browns and they just sit there looking at me waiting to be used and I just keep picking the same nudes all the time. I might as well just own the same 10 lipsticks because that's all I wear but I just love nude on an everyday basis. I, I like not that there's anything wrong with wearing a colourful lip to work or school. If you can rock it do it but I just feel like when I'm eating my lunch or I feel like a phase throughout the day and I don't have time to be going in and fixing this. So a nude just fades nicely. It just leaves a bit of colour, a bit of definition. And that's what I like. So I go in with, well, like I use different things every day. But today I'm going to use my NYX, um, what's this called? Lip liner in nude beige. It's just a really nice nude colour. And I just outline my lips and follow my natural lip line.
Then I go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. These are so nice for every day. And this is like the nicest nude color. And it's like six euro. So, so good. So there you have it. That is the finished look. No lashes, no eyeshadow, uh, no concealer, just quick and easy foundation powder, uh, bronzer, highlight and whatever. If you want to wear lashes with this, you can. If you want to go full glam with this, if you want to even take out a few steps and make it quicker and easier, that's completely up to you. But I hope you like this look. Um, let me know if you recreate it or if you have any of the products I use. And I will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe and please follow my Instagram and Twitter. I'll have them linked below. Thank you. Bye.